Hello YouTube, I'm in a studio soon. Today we're actually going to be taking a look at uh, one of my custom mocks. This is actually uh, a War Machine mock, and this is actually relatively based off of some of the concept art that we got from the Avengers Endgame movie. So uh, we're just going to be looking at this mock, uh, just looking at some of the details that I threw in there, some of the things that I thought were going to be very vital for this one. As well as the figure I use and stuff like that. So we're just going to get right to it. Uh, now I do want to keep in mind that I do have a series of War Machine related uh, mocks coming soon. I have an Iron Patriot one that's actually used from this version. And also a version of the team suit. So uh, which is still kind of a work in progress but I do want to show it off. But I do have a couple other ones of these that I will show off and... I will show how to modify them um, using this mold. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, here we have my War Machine mock. We're just going to do a full 360 view. So, as you can tell, it is a pretty wide, you know, uh, build. Very, very wide. Has a big chest, pretty big back area. So, it is wide uh, from back to front. There's some pretty cool details in there that I threw in and uh, yeah so this is a quick 360 view of him uh, now the figure I am using is the Avengers Endgame version of him so and yep there's feature one where you can open the chest up and move him in there so yeah it just kind of flops down like that folds in very easily now to take the figure in and out here we go so you have to put this down, take the figure, push on the back of his head. Very simply, he falls right out. And uh, one thing that I thought was really cool that I added in here, if I can move this, is I actually did make this connection point based off of these pins here, plugged into uh, a few of the one by twos. Uh, well, these are actually one by ones right here, but. This is a one by two, and then I just put some of the pinholes in them to uh, keep this there. Which, and the reason I did that was actually so I could get a little bit of movement from this little shoulder pauldron piece. So, putting in the figure is a lot more easier, and this thing will still stay stationary and will not fall off. So that's a great technique I used. There's some pretty cool detail I threw in to this. There's a silver by two grill piece in there so here's a look at it from the front here's the arc reactor and there you go from top view and of course this would be right there so yeah um, so here's also the gun here's the back of it so you can move the up back uh, the gun up and down from this point right here you can move it down and up uh, you can also move it side to side, sort of, but uh, it, it stays stationary, and I think that's fine. I think it works fine. It's just staying stationary, but for the most part, and, and I'm not going to play with this a whole lot. This is a mock for instance, for uh, for re for a reason, you know. Um, so now, in terms of posability, is this posable? Yes. Uh, again, you can move the gun, move the front chest piece, full 360 on the arms for the most part up and down, bend elbows, not quite 90 degrees, but about there, but that's due to this way I designed the arms, so I wasn't too crazy about that, you can break his arms too, so there's a stud shooter on there, and you do have waist rotation, kick the legs up, or back, forward, the side, it's just on a ball joint, and this is just a hinge right here for the knee. You can also move the toe and the heel. So, pretty basic, uh, pretty simple articulation. But I think this portrays the look of the uh, concept art pretty well, decently well anyway. Uh, of course, you can't exactly make it exactly how uh, it looks in that. But I think overall, aesthetically, this is very pleasing in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, you can also pivot these if you want. I want them to be straight like that. But, uh, but yeah, there's really nothing to it. 
Now the piece that I'm using here, the little core kind of skeletal piece, is actually the. This is actually a, the mech that the Mr. Freeze comes in from that old Batman set a few years ago. Uh, that I got that set and uh, that's very useful. Also using this uh, triple uh, piece here that has the triple ball joints all over it, which is really nice and really helpful. And yeah, but overall, I think this looks really good and pretty, pretty uh, accurate compared to the actual look of it. And I think it looks decently well. You can look up photos of that. It looks pretty cool. And I think compared to this, it just looks great. So uh, another design detail I put in there is I actually did use minifig legs to fill out the calves. I think that was a really cool and interesting design element I used there. So obviously, you can you can really tell how the the knees and feet were made very simply very easily done there and there so and you can move these a little bit you can push them in and out uh, if you so choose but for the most part they just stay like that now in terms of uh, here you go stuff falling off already <laughs> uh, in terms of stuff you can actually uh, move uh, or in terms of like other action features anyway you do have the stud shooters here, which you can put studs on. Those are really just for show. I don't put studs in there to shoot them off. I think those are just, the stud shooters just work for big arm cannons that he does have there on this version of the suit. So, so you can have him shooting like that. And then I think it was really cool how I did the hands too. And not actually making hands, I just put what could work for hands. So... Just one of these cheese slope pieces here, and then put one of these round, one by one, red uh, tile pieces here, and I thought that worked fine. So, and uh, but yeah, overall that's my mock here. Uh, I do have several other War Machine series things coming out and Iron Man related stuff, and I do plan on doing a couple of Star Wars things here and there as well. Uh, I've already posted the Star Wars thing, so be sure to go look at that. It's the Duel on the Death Star Ruins mock that I made. So, a uh, really cool mock that I think I, I pulled off pretty well. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more mocks like this War Machine one, which I do plan on doing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. That really helps the channel uh, grow as a uh, big channel like the big guys uh, like MNR, Just Too Good, and so on. So... And also, you can see that mock right there. That is a Spider-Man uh, mobile, Spider-Mobile back there. So uh, I do plan on reviewing that, and I, that's still kind of a work in progress. But, yeah, you can see that in the background there. Yeah, I do plan on, on doing that and making a video separate on that. But for now, we're going to focus on War Machine and Iron Man stuff for a little bit, and then we'll move on to those other things. So, But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.